What's up everybody? Winchell here doing another quick tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on how to use or how to set up a multi timbrel VST inside of Cubase 5. Uh, now uh, this will work in Cubase 3 also. Uh, a multi timbrel VST is awesome just because of the fact that you can use uh, that one VST to create up to 16 tracks, uh, possibly more if you're creative. Uh, and how that works is a multi timbral VST has more than one output. Uh, a normal VST, you open it up, you Im import your preset or whatever it is, and you can play that one sound and that's it. You might be able to uh, tweak it a little bit, um, but there's really only so much you can do with it. A multi timbral has multi outputs, and you can route those outputs in many ways. Um, today I'm going to show you the simple way to use it. Uh, to create an entire song. Uh, now, let's get started. To open up uh, Sample Tank, you're going to have to open up this VST Instruments window. Now, to do that, it's just F11 on your keyboard, or go up to Devices, VST Instruments, and it will show up. So now that you've got that open, select Sample Tank as your uh, VST instrument. This window pops up. Cubase 5, do you want to create a MIDI track? You're going to select no here or cancel. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because as soon as you open up Sample Tank, it's got 16 outputs. And you're going to want to route those outputs from Sample Tank into Cubase. So that way you can have 16 separate tracks. Uh, today I'm only going to do five, just because there are four, just because I don't want to overdo it and spend too much time routing. It's real simple though. Uh, over here in this gray area, just right click, add MIDI track, and you're going to be able to add as many as you want. I'm going to just go up to four, just to simplify it. Click OK. Now on each of these tracks, click on it to highlight it, you're going to want to go over to right underneath all MIDI inputs, and you're going to select sample tank. Track two, sample tank. As you can see, Mine's already selected, but I'm just going to go through the motions just to show you because I've already had this open and that's why it remembered it. Um, now, this part right here, channel one, channel two, that sets up already for you because you chose four mini tracks and it tells it to go to four separate channels, which is great. That's why we didn't create a mini track when we first uh, opened Sample Tank because it would have routed it to channel one. But then when we added more tracks over here by right clicking, let's say we added 11 after it created that one track. Then it creates 11, but the first one is one, second one is two. So now you got two channel ones and you got to go through and change them all. It's a big pain in the butt. So doing it this way just makes it that much easier. The only real pain in the butt is having to go to MIDI channel one and selecting the output to sample tank. That takes the most time. So anyway, now you got these channels in here that you can add your instruments. I'm going to go up to drums, acoustic, just a good old uh, pop, small kit. So now, there, got the drum kit in there. Now for track two, I'm going to add just a bass, something different, a uh, round bass. Put it on channel two over here. got it. So now channel 3, add in some sort of string instrument or something. Strings, uh, cello, uh, staccato cellos. And go over here to MIDI channel 3. And then go to channel 4 and put in the piano or something concert actually let's go through for an electric electric piano give it that weird sound and then select channel 4 over here Now you got your four instruments. Now you can uh, name them. That's a good idea. Track one is the drums. Double click. 
drums, MIDI track two is round bass, just write bass, D just double clicking on MIDI three, staccato, cello, so I'll just, cellos, and MIDI track four, electric piano, just piano, good enough, so now, you can close this out, open it up later. The good thing about a lot of these uh, multi-timbral VSTs is they've got tons of different effects you can add in, like the electric piano. The reverb is good, but I, I like to have it real wet. Give it that room sound. So... Yep, now you can throw a whole song together, set your loop, 